so I can step on it. See that, how the taper, taper of the drain works out? I just think that's so much cleaner, nicer look. And I know a lot of guys out there won't take the time to do those individual tile. They might cut them in a circular fashion, but they won't taper them. It takes a little more time and patience, but I think it's a cleaner look. I think it's a better, it's, it's um, how would I put it? It's functional right it does something besides nice look anyway this is the glass tile it's going to be staggered five pieces going up that center line i marked yesterday wrapping around the valve and wrapping around there i'm gonna put some red guard on there sand that down put some red guard on there um so yeah i'm gonna get started on that there's gonna be pencil pieces on the outside so i gotta set those and all the tire going tile are gonna go up to it which means this has to be worked out first. Then I'm gonna work on the niche. Um, window cell design with these, what I call curb top pieces. They're six inches wide. I'll probably shave it down. Uh, I think that's three, either three or three and a half. I'll cut that down to about four. I'll rip it to four. And then I'll do a little window sill cutout thing. Um, yeah. Then the glass tile, do I have it? Yeah. This glass tile, which is really cool, is going to go on the inside of the niche. And so I will take um, two and a half pieces and put that in there as well. And then um, get some field tile to put on the inside. And all my tile will wrap around also that. So little intricate details I have to take care of first. Um, once I get started on the walls, it'll be pretty, you know, quick, easy peasy stacking brick stacking brick but yeah i won't get to that until probably well it's a weekend so probably by monday i'll be able to run all that tile up so yeah coming along pretty good bit of breathing room on both sides and the field tile. Bump 
pry it up against it. Go around it, go up under it, go on the side of it. In fact, look at this, a little perfect. In fact, I have one of these little wavy tiles in a large format. So I mean, it's gonna be one solid piece on both sides and then two solid pieces with a grout line in the middle, which is perfect. But, gotta get to this first. this one chipped I didn't chip it but it was chipped and I'm like wow it's way up at the top nobody will ever see it nobody will ever ever see it but my customer will and he will not be happy then it dawned on me I had an epiphany I carry sample pieces in my truck and I just happened to look in my truck and voila I got a sample piece and I'm gonna cut it and put it up there because I don't like doing little stupid mistakes like that. Well, it's not my mistake, it was already chipped, but I can take care of it now. Yay. So, yeah. Um, I haven't really shown a lot of my work on this uh, little, whatever you call it, vlog. 
how to renovate a bathroom, how to build a shower. There's so, so many details. I actually have a video of a full bathroom build. Um, I'll link it up there, right up there. So you can go watch that if you want to. Um, but they're very, very difficult to put together and all the different cards and batteries you need to film and yada, yada, yada. So I don't really show a whole lot, but it is done. There's a piece of cardboard at the bottom that is my spacer. So that gives me about an eighth of an inch space at the bottom. And then the next day I can just slide it right from under it. The niche is done. They picked this glass, which is really cool. And I should have shaved off the bottom as I did on the sides, although you can't see it now because of the tile. But yeah, um, once it gets grouted, all that will fill in perfectly. So that's about it. That's my day. And now I can uh, start slapping tile on the wall. One of the things that's really cool, I always like doing measurements on my ceiling when I'm done with my floor tile. See that 13 and a half? 13 and a half. And 16 shy. 13 and a half. I just love that. I don't know, well, I think this wall is level, but I know all of this is. That's why that matters because when you put your level, as I did when I was running the tile, straight up against it, it should be right on point. Look at that. That's just so pretty. It looks cold though. It looks like it's a bunch of ice chunks. Yeah, burr. But yeah, it's getting there. Um, full pieces and all that stuff and yada yada yada. I'm going to be trimming this out with Schluter, but rather than having Schluter facing out, the larger part facing out, which is what I usually do, the larger part's going to be facing in. Yeah, it's a little different. Give it a little cleaner look. The smaller edge of the Schluter will show, and the larger edge will be on the inside, the three sides there. This is grouted, and it's looking okay. It's looking okay. Yeah. I I think it's going to probably stain. You know, glass has water spots and stuff like that. So, I don't know. But I think it's probably going to stain water spots later on. But, um, 
Yeah. Not too bad, not too shabby. I already have my ledger boards up, ready to start slamming up wall tile. Because this, basically in this, was kind of the prelude to doing all the field tile. So, it is ready to go. Look at that floor. Look at that shiny drain. That's just so pretty. That's so pretty. Used prism grout for natural stone, natural stone, and glass, glass. Because prism grout will not scratch the surface. And it's a lot easier to work with. And it's hardier than unsanded grout. So yeah, that's my best advice. Otherwise, there's nothing I can tell you. Uh, I have something to show you. Um, one of my fears with marble tile is, you know, like staining and it looks like this is a different color than the rest already. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe it's just the lighting, maybe it's the tile itself. I'm not really sure. It sure looks like that's darker, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe my eyes are bad. Anyway, I'm out. Hey, if you enjoyed that video and you learned something, consider being a Patreon member. Five, ten, fifteen dollars a month would help me greatly produce more videos. I make nothing up from YouTube at all. If you're gonna call me for advice, please donate fifty dollars for thirty minutes. My link to my PayPal and my Patreon account is down below. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get immediate notifications as soon as I post a video. And thank you very much for your support.